The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is a much-loved American sitcom from the 1990s created by Andy and Susan Borowitz. It famously stars Will Smith, aka The Fresh Prince, in his first acting role away from the music industry. Will Smith plays a fictionalised version of himself, born and raised in West Philadelphia, but is sent to his wealthy aunt and uncle's home in Bel-Air after getting into trouble in his neighbourhood. It was originally released on the 10th of September 1992 to the 20th of May 1996. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air ran for six seasons and has a total of 148 episodes. Here are 27 Fresh Prince of Bel-Air facts that you haven't heard before, including why Will Smith fell out with Janet Hubert after season three, which sentimental prop Karen Parsons owns from the set, and what Aunt Viv was originally going to be called. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air had a huge selection of notable guest appearances from celebrities throughout its run. There are around 40 in total. Guest appearances included Quincy Jones, Bo Jackson, Naomi Campbell, Isaiah Thomas, Queen Latifah, Jar Jar Gabor, Belle Biv DeVoe, Donald Trump, Dick Clark, Brad Garrett, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Jay Leno, Isaac Hayes, Chris Rock, B.B. King, William Shatner and Gary Coleman. <laughs> In 1990, music manager Benny Medina and his business partner Jeff Pollock wanted to make a TV show based on Medina's life. He had grown up in East Los Angeles, but his life changed when he made friends with a rich white teenager whose family lived in Beverly Hills and Medina went to live with them. He decided to use this part of his life as the main focus of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. As the trope of a black character living with a white family had been done multiple times on TV, Medina changed the rich white family to a rich black family so they could explore prejudice and class difference within the black community. I'm not an expert or anything, but don't you think driving a big old bus around town and then having a bonfire sort of adding to the problem of pollution? Please. Look, if this weren't a good idea, I really, really don't think Ali Sheedy would be involved. Benny Medina pitched his idea to Quincy Jones, who had recently signed a TV deal with Time Warner. He liked the idea and arranged a meeting with head of NBC at the time, Brandon Tartikoff. Vivian, is that Will? No, Philip, it's Richard Nixon wearing a Will mask. <laughs> No, Mom, I think that really is Will. Will Smith was already an established music star under the pseudonym The Fresh Prince, and he was already in mainstream media. He had allegedly got into a lot of debt after failing to pay taxes, so his girlfriend at the time suggested that he go to a taping of the Arsenio Hall show, where he met Medina. Medina pitched the idea to Smith, who was at first reluctant due to never acting before. The pair later attended a party thrown by Quincy Jones in 1989, and Smith was challenged to audition on the spot using a script for the failed TV show Morris Day that Quincy Jones had also produced. Head of NBC Brandon Tartikoff liked his performance so much that the first contract for The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was drawn up that same night in a limousine outside. The pilot was filmed three months later. Reportedly, Will Smith had to surrender 70% of his salary for the first three seasons to the Inland Revenue Service to settle his debts from his music career. Somewhere between Princeton or the office, you got soft. You forgot who you are and where you came from. I grew up on the streets just like you. I encountered bigotry you could not imagine. Now, you have a nice poster of Malcolm X on your wall. I heard the brother speak. Andy and Susan Borowitz are writers of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and when coming up with the characteristics of the Banks children, they took inspiration from Quincy Jones' own daughters. Carlton Banks was named after the screenwriter Carlton Cuse, best known for writing Lost. Daddy, I need $500. Hell, you should really consider expanding your vocabulary a little bit. In just three weeks, Andy and Susan Borowitz had written the pilot script for The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and the cast had filmed a pilot. Filming began on the 1st of May 1990, and the first season was aired in September of 1990 until May 1991. The series finale was taped on the 21st of March 96, and aired on the 20th of May 96. Jane Hubert and James Avery, who played Vivian and Philip Banks, have stated in interviews that they had never heard of Will Smith's music act, The Fresh Prince, before they signed up for the series. You know how humiliating it is to have a son who can't swim.
The theme song to The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was composed by executive producer of the show, Quincy Jones, who is credited with Will Smith at the end of every episode. Will Smith wrote and performed the song under the name The Fresh Prince. The music is then used throughout the show to join scenes together as well as start and end it each week. The pilot episode includes longer introductory credits with an additional verse of Yo Home to Bel Air. In it, Will's mum can be seen packing his suitcase and Will is seen on a plane sat in first class. Willie, would you say grace, please? Yes, mommy. <clears throat> hey there, Lord, my name is Ashley Banks. My family and friends want to give you some thanks. So before this dinner's all swollen and chewed, thank you, God, for this stupid food. <laughs> In the 1991 to 1992 TV schedule, Blossom followed The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air immediately on NBC on Monday nights. As both shows were hugely popular, they decided to cross over some of the characters. Will Smith appeared in Blossom's I'm With The Band as The Fresh Prince, and Karen Parsons, who plays Hilary Banks, appeared as Hilary in the Blossom episode Wake Up Little Susie. Hilary Banks also starred in a crossover with the sitcom Out All Night. <laughs> The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and In the House had the same executive producers, Winifred Hervey, David Saltzman and Quincy Jones. So during the second season, Alfonso Ribeiro and Tatiana Ali crossed over for an episode. In Dog Catchers, the pair star as their Fresh Prince of Bel-Air characters Carlton and Ashley Banks. Later in the season, James Avery starred in the episode Love on a One-Way Street as Philip Banks. After The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air ended, Alfonso Ribeiro joined the cast of In the House in Season 3 as Dr. Maxwell Stanton, and in Season 4, James Avery and Daphne Maxwell-Reed, aka Philip and Vivian Banks, starred as Stanton's parents. Joseph Marcel, who plays Jeffrey Butler on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, appeared as an efficient minister in the same episode. You'd believe that boy if he were to tell you that he was a big rap star whose album just went platinum. <laughs> Will Smith reportedly said that a Fresh Prince of Bel-Air reboot would be made pretty close to when hell freezes over. However, in 2019, after Morgan Cooper uploaded a mock trailer for a dark remake of the show named Bel-Air, Will Smith began working with him on a reboot. In 2020, Netflix, NBC's Peacock and HBO Max were all bidding for the series, with Peacock giving Bel-Air a two-season order on the 8th of September 2020. My horoscope said that I will prosper in my house, so... I figured I better go buy one. <laughs> Hallelujah! The first actor to play Vivian Banks was Janet Hubert, but she did not return to the show in season four. Many have speculated that she was fired and that she and Will Smith hadn't spoken for years afterwards. In 2020, both Hubert and Smith did an NPR interview in which they clarified what their dispute was about. Hubert revealed that she wasn't fired from the show and was experiencing many difficulties in her personal life, including an abusive marriage at the time, so her mind was elsewhere. Will Smith discussed how he was trying to come to terms with his rapidly increasing fame at such a young age and regretted his actions at the time and wished that things had gone differently. According to Alfonso Ribeiro, the whole Fresh Prince cast was like one big family. Unfortunately, he excluded Janet Hubert, saying she was difficult to work with at the time. James Avery, who played Uncle Phil, said he was constantly having to remind her that the show was the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, not Philip and Vivian of Bel-Air. Okay. Uh... Just a quick interruption to say thank you so much for clicking on a January Media video. If you haven't heard of us before, then take a few seconds to open a new tab, type in januarymedia.co.uk. We've got a whole host of other videos, articles and podcasts all about TV and film. So if you want to find out more facts, have a go at some of our quizzes and browse our entertainment themed shop, then make sure you visit januarymedia.co.uk after you watch this video. In November 2020, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air cast reunited on HBO Max, discussing what it was like to work on the show, their auditions and their chemistry together. The reunion show also featured a tribute to James Avery, who played Philip Banks, who sadly passed away in 2013. Will Smith's now wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, tried out for the role of Lisa on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. She ended up not getting the job, however, due to ironically a lack in chemistry between her and Will Smith and their difference in height. 
They were married three years later and now have two children together, Willow Smith and Jaden Smith. Uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Dark Gable? In case you didn't notice, this is my day. Alfonso Ribeiro invented the Carlton dance. In the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air scripts, it gives the stage direction Carlton dances, with nothing specifically laid out. Alfonso, who plays Carlton Banks, later said in an interview that the recognisable Carlton dance was inspired by Eddie Murphy's White Boy Dance and Courtney Cox dancing in the Bruce Springsteen Dancing in the Dark video from 1984. Funnily enough, Alfonso is in reality a very accomplished dancer. Despite The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air running for six seasons, the network NBC originally cancelled the show after season four, with The Philadelphia Story as the finale in 1994. However, there were so many fan letters calling for its reinstatement to Will Smith and NBC that executives were persuaded to renew the show. It ran for two more seasons, and it was only when Joseph Marcel spoke of his plans to return back to the UK that it prompted the other cast members to say that they had finished with it too. The third, fourth and fifth season finale were written to be farewell episodes, just in case the show wasn't renewed again. Then the sixth season finale was written with the full knowledge that the show would not continue. Season 3 of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air had the highest USA ratings, and season 6 had the lowest. Will Smith has stated in interviews that he encouraged the writers of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to branch out into more serious and dramatic episodes, after being inspired by many of the emotional moments in the sitcom Roseanne. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is remembered for having these tough and tender moments, including the scene in which Will's dad tries to get involved in his life again, only to desert him one last time. I need him then and I don't need him now. Will. Uh, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm gonna get through college without him. I'm gonna get a great job without him. I'm gonna marry me a beautiful honey and I'm having me a whole bunch of kids. I'm gonna be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that because ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids. How come you don't want me, man? Jeffrey, the long-suffering housekeeper of the Banks family, ironically has the last name Butler. It was later revealed in the series that his middle name is Barbara. Vivian and Philip's youngest son, Nicky's full name, is Nicholas Andrew Michael Sean Nathan Wanya Banks. He was named after the four band members of Boys to Men after they performed at his christening. Lisa's real name is Beulah, which is revealed in the season 5 episode, For Whom the Wedding Bells Toll. In season 6, the character of Werner is the producer of Hilary Banks' talk show. He is named after Werner Whalian, who co-produced every episode of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. For the $26 million jackpot, 15! <laughs> I'm rich! I'm rich! Okay, how much money you got, brother? <laughs> the mascot used at Will and Carlton's College, ULA, is a peacock, in reference to the fact that the channel NBC has used a peacock as its logo for many years. Uncle Phil works at the law firm called Firth, Wynn and Meyer, which is an excellent play on words for the band Earth, Wind and Fire. Executive producer Quincy Jones was apparently a big fan of the group. Those aren't the perpetrators. Those are my partner's son and nephew. When you got this alleged confession from these two young men, did they have a lawyer present? No, because I'm their lawyer. Did you notify their parents? No, because we're their parents. So officer, don't tell us to wait and don't tell us to sit down. Just open that damn cell and let those two boys out of there or I'm gonna tie this place up with so much litigation that your grandchildren are gonna need lawyers. Will Smith, Karen Parsons and James Avery were the only cast members to appear in every episode of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Parsons was technically absent from Love in an Elevator. She had no new scenes but appeared in flashbacks. DJ Jazzy Jeff technically appears in every episode because he plays basketball during the theme song, but he is only credited for 46 episodes. Look, th there he goes. <laughs> <Hillary> <laughs> yes, Trevor! Will you marry me? <laughs> Karen 
Karen Parsons told ABC News about a notebook left in the drawer of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Kitchen Island, which she took with her after the show had finished. She said every now and then a camera person or the actors or somebody would just write silly poetry or James is getting on my nerves and we would make little notes so I took that. I needed to pull that out especially now that James has passed because I know he's written in there. I know he was written about. Number one, anytime Uncle Phil takes a drink, what do you do? I compliment you. Yes. <laughs> now, did you memorize the list of compliments? Yes. Okay, very good. Number two, anytime anyone says Hillary, what do you do? I bark like a dog. <laughs> It's right. Vivian Banks was originally named Wendy Banks. The name was changed when Debbie Allen was brought in to direct the plot. Debbie Allen's mother and daughter are both named Vivian, so she changed the character's name when Janet Hubert reminded her of her mother. Mrs. Robertson and her daughter Wendy. <laughs> Damn! In a 2017 profile of writer Genji Cohen, New Yorker contributor Emily Nussbaum claimed that the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air writer's room was a very difficult environment to work in, calling it a toxic mess. She went on to say that the staff included Will Smith's bodyguard and his cousin, and they worked crazy hours while fighting non-stop. She also mentioned there were several cruel pranks. Someone peed in a colleague's bottle of tequila. Cohen was one of two female writers and the only white woman. She was also given a nickname that played on her race and religion. What's your name, son? <laughs> this. This is a stick with a snake wrapped around it. It's a symbol, like Prince. Prince who? <laughs> See, that's exactly why fathers ain't allowed at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> What's this thing? It's a symbol for get out of my house! <laughs> Daddy, I love him! <laughs> Will Smith has said in interviews that as an inexperienced actor, he would memorize the entire script for each episode instead of just his lines. In order to help him remember his own part, he would lip sync the lines of the other actors during filming. There is evidence of this on camera in early episodes of the series. There was some tension on set between Tatiana Ali and Will Smith at the beginning due to this. The actor playing Will Smith's mother in every title sequence in a shower cap was allegedly never paid for her appearance. She auditioned for the part and was either cut out of the pilot or her audition reel was used in the opening credits. When Will's mother does appear alongside the cast in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air for a total of 15 episodes, she is played by a very different actor, Vernie Watson Johnson. Despite playing mother and son in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Vernie Watson Johnson is only 14 years older than Will Smith, Janet Hubert was only 12 years older than Will Smith and 10 years older than Karen Parker. Parsons, who played her daughter, Hilary Banks. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Tia and Tamara Maori both auditioned for the role of Ashley Banks, but Tatiana Ali was ultimately cast. The pair went on to play roles in the sitcom Sister Sister. Queen Latifah appears in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air twice as two different characters. In the season one episode Working It Out, she plays Marissa Redman, a demanding celebrity who hires Hillary as her personal assistant. This was her first acting role besides her music videos. In the season two episode She Ain't Heavy, she plays Dee Dee, Will's potential love interest, who is shown as overweight. It's this girl, Paula Hoover. If I don't give her my lunch, she hits me. And tomorrow at three o'clock, she's gonna beat me up whether I feed her or not. Well, I happen to know she ain't gonna be beating you up. Why? Did she die? 